trigonometric identities. I'm Anil Kumar and now we will solve few trigonometric identities. I should say we will prove some trigonometric identities. So we have here sine x plus sine 2x divided by 1 plus cos x plus cos 2x equal to tan x. So in proving trigonometric identities we should start from one side and get what is required from the other side. So we'll begin by solving the left side. Left side seems to be more complicated so it can be simplified. It has terms like sine 2x and cos 2x. So let us put our formulas for sine 2x and cos 2x. Sine 2x could be written as 2 sine x cos x. As far as cos 2x is concerned, it could be written as cos square x minus sine square x or 2 cos square x minus 1 or even 1 minus 2 sine square x, right? So these are the formulas which we can use to simplify or prove our identity. <coughs> Let's begin by simplifying the left side. It says sine x plus sine 2x. So we can write this as sine x. Left side is equal to sine x plus sine 2x. I'm writing this as 2 sine x cos x divided by 1 plus cos x plus. Now we have a choice. Which one to use? Now if I use 2 cos square x minus 1, I do two things at the same time. One, I take care of this plus 1. Plus 1 minus 1 is 0. Second, I can factor, right? So factoring is important to simplify. So let's use this one, which is 2 cos square x minus 1. So now I can factor sine x in the numerator, which is sine x will give me 1 plus 2 cos x. And in the denominator, 1 minus 1 is 0. I can factor cos x, correct? So I can get cos x equals to 1 plus 2 cos x, correct? And from here, 1 plus 2 cos x cancel out. And what do we get? We get tan x. Now tan x is what we have in right side. So we have left side equals to right side. And that is how we prove the identities, correct? So I hope these simple steps take you and remind you of how to simplify and then prove the identities. So in this step, I took 1 and minus 1 as 0, right? So we were left with just these terms, correct? So I skipped one step. That's why I'm coming back to it. Then we factored cos x. We get 1 plus 2 cos x, right? So that is how we do it. We'll follow this method in a couple, couple of these examples and I hope with that you'll become very familiar with the technique. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn more about it. Thank you and all the best.